Illinois. So we saw a pretty powerful storm this morning. And those clouds and those winds really stuck with us. And preparedness is going to be the name of the game this week because we're due to see some much colder temperatures by next week. Now, we saw a pretty impressive sandstorm while we saw the rest of those winds really push out, those clouds out of the way. And that dust really pushed in from the west under those hazier conditions. We still hold on strong to those 50s. But as soon as that storm pushed through, we dropped significantly. Now, we held on to a lot of those 50s last night. But as soon as that storm pushed through, dropped us about 10 degrees. Now, we're already back down into those 40s, back into those 50s. And we're be getting cooling off back down into those freezing temperatures by tonight into those 30s. In fact, those dew points are pretty low right now. We're under some dry air. 52 in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in those lower 50s. And we see that pretty even cooling under these windier conditions. Now, we're going to continue to see a lot of these strong north to northwesterly winds because of the upper level pattern is going to get pretty interesting right now. In fact, we're looking at those dew points we were talking about, those relative humidity indices. We're already down there in those teens, if not those 20s. Now, we're going to make our way up overnight, but look at these dew points, 8 degrees, 5 degrees, 18 degrees, and believe it or not, we're actually headed towards that degree direction when we're talking about overnight lows. We're going to watch this humidity really push off to the east and be replaced by a lot of this cold, dry air, but right behind it, the next storm is already on its way. Now, it's not going to be as powerful as far as the Contra Valley is concerned, but as it starts to make its way east, it's going to get pretty intense. This is that upper level low that's going to give everybody some trouble the rest of the month or the rest of the week. Again, we're going to watch this ridging that could push us into the 70s by the middle of this week. But then we watch as this upper level trough really starts to make its way in across that Rocky Mountain region. This is what's going to make a deep system. This is what could push us mostly northerly. And that's what's going to drop is a couple degrees by the time the weekend rolls around. Then, of course, you start to see a lot more of this ridging push in from the west. That's what's going to hold us there, believe it or not, as we start to hang out in those 50s. And then again, looking at 80 18 degrees as far as those nighttime lows are concerned. Right now, we're looking at the severe weather outlook across the nation, really just targeting East Texas and across Louisiana. And when we look at those satellite conditions, those are tornado warnings and watches being issued for that entire region. Let me move out of the way as we start to see a lot of that cold air push in from the north. Again, seeing flash flood alerts and severe storm watches all along that region. But of course, we're watching the cold air really make its way down from the north. Again, the time lapse going to show you how these stable conditions really keep it windy as it pushes off to the east, really clearing things up. You might see a couple clouds push in from about the New Mexico region, but really just dominated by high pressure. Again, a lot of fast moving west east uh, flowing winds. That's going to lock us in those temperatures. Of course, we're getting a good idea of those winds really staying out of the northwest. Those advisories staying in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Then finally, Tuesday, really kind of in the e evening, we're going to start to see them push out of the west by about Wednesday morning. That's where we're going to start warming up. Seeing a lot of that prefrontal warming pushes back up into the 70s. So tonight, holding on to the winds. Dropping down into the 30s. Good, get down near those freezing points. Remember, those dew points are way down there. Then tomorrow, holding on to those breezy conditions still until about in the middle of the evening, if not that late morning hour on Wednesday before we start to see any of these winds die down, holding us in those 50s. Then we start to gradually warm up as we continue through that second week of January, all the way into the 70s. But as the weekend rolls around, here comes that cold front. Now, it's not going to be as severe in the Concho Valley, but it is going to be a pretty powerful storm making its way across the entire region. That's what's going to drop us about 20 degrees down into those 50s. Then, believe it or not, as we begin that third week of January, this is where I have my eyes painted as we look at those 30s and that low of 18 degrees. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.